Introducing the new Share Browser. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's webinar all about the new Share Browser Media Asset Management release. I am Melanie Ciotti, Marketing Manager here at Studio Network Solutions. Shortly, I'll introduce today's presenter, Steve Higdon, so he can tell you all about the new Share Browser Media Asset Management release. For those of you who are unfamiliar with this product though, I wanna give you a little bit of background. Share Browser is the powerful and easy to use media asset manager included with Evo Shared Storage. It is part of the integrated suite of software tools that make media workflow more productive and more efficient for creative professionals. Evo is the high performance shared storage server purpose built for creative media production but it's also much more than that. It's a complete workflow solution for post-production, broadcast, and VFX teams. Every Evo server comes with the entire suite of software tools like Share Browser, the media asset manager included with Evo, Slingshot, the automations engine and API included with Evo, and Nomad, the new remote editing utility, you guessed it, also included with Evo. Today, we're going to focus on Share Browser, Evo's built in media asset manager. And we'll also touch on Slingshot a bit toward the end. What I want you to know first, though, is how much effort SNS has put into this latest release of the Share Browser product. In fact, our team is so committed to our MAM product that we completely rebuilt the system from the ground up, which lets us give you a better Share Browser today and develop for a better, more scalable, more feature-rich Share Browser tomorrow. We've seen Share Browser adoption increase significantly over the past few years, especially last year with the pandemic because it helps so much with remote workflow. And we've been collecting and listening to feedback from our customers to make sure that we are prioritizing development in key areas that you, our users, really want. So I hope you love what you're about to see in the all new Share Browser Media Asset Manager. And remember, Share Browser is included free in unlimited fashion with Evo. So if you're ready to upgrade after this presentation, just reach out to us at snsevo.com to get scheduled. It's a pleasure to introduce you to my colleague, Steve Higdon. Steve has been with SNS for over 10 years and he's been working in the content creation industry for over 30 years. His title is Senior Systems Engineer and Product Specialist, but what he really does is solve workflow problems for content creators like you. And that's exactly what the new Share Browser does. Here is Steve Higdon to tell you all about the new features in our latest release of Share Browser, Evo's included media asset management system. Thank you, Melanie. And thanks to everyone who's tuned in to learn about the new Share Browser. We've completely rebuilt Share Browser and made some pretty significant changes in the way it looks and works for media workflow. And I'm looking forward to sharing that with you. First, I'm gonna focus on the aesthetics. One of the reasons we rewrote Share Browser from the ground up is to modernize and unify the experience across your devices. I'll show you Share Browser's new user interface and how the application now looks the same, whether you're on Mac, Windows, or using our browser-based web app. Then we'll talk about some enhanced features like the improved connection between Share Browser and our API, which makes it easier to import metadata from third-party software. We'll look at the addition of protected and invisible fields, and I'll show you a quick new way to download preview proxies in Share Browser. We're gonna cover some archival integrations as well as new integrations with other tools in your workflow. Then I'll wrap up with a preview of our next release of Slingshot, the automation features included with Evo. You can think of Slingshot as the engine that drives the great things that Share Browser can do. So these tools really go hand in hand. We're working on new enhancements with Slingshot to save you time in your creative workflow so stay tuned for some big news. And let's get right to it. Melanie mentioned how committed we are as a company to the development of Share Browser. 
We've dedicated significant time and resources to this new release, redesigning and rebuilding everything from the ground up. The result is a beautiful new interface with more functionality, better features, and an improved user experience, as well as a new architecture for future enhancements. In fact, we've taken a lot of direction from users who have provided feedback by way of the envelope icon in Share Browser. You can see it a bit here in the upper right corner of those screenshots, and you'll see it better on future slides as well. Now, before I dive into the details, I want to make a few things clear. While there's a lot of new stuff going on in the new Share Browser, we've also kept your favorite features intact. One of those features that always generates a lot of positive feedback is Share Browser bins. Bins are central to the Share Browser feature set, so you can still create and share bins with your team. We also still connect to Active Directory, and you can still auto mount your Evo shares. And in general, you can still use the time-saving collaborative features you love about Share Browser Media Asset Manager. So let's take a look at the new Share Browser and its fully rebuilt user interface. As you can see here, the new Share Browser offers the same modern experience, whether you're on Mac, Windows, or using the Share Browser web app in your preferred web browser. The Share Browser web app and desktop clients now share the same look, but the features and functionality are still a bit different in each one, so you can choose the right Share Browser for the job. The desktop client, shown here at the top in both Mac and Windows, includes the full spectrum of Share Browser features. The Share Browser web app, shown below, is a streamlined version, accessed through your web browser. It requires no software installation. Simply point your browser to Evo and log in from there. In the web app, users can search, preview, tag, and comment on media, even without direct access to the file system. So whether you're using the streamlined Share Browser web app or the feature-rich Share Browser desktop application on Mac or Windows, they all share the same modern look and feel. Here you can see that we've added the ability to browse your files in list view or gallery view. Now, I personally love the look of gallery view, but I do find list view more functional for how I usually search and use media files. I have colleagues that swear by the gallery view though, and they haven't gone back to the list view since this release, but having this choice really gives your team members the flexibility to experience the file system the way each individual works best. Since Evo users work with high resolution video, we made the new Share Browser look great on high res displays, even 4K, so the gallery view will look especially impressive on those big monitors. In the new Share Browser, the bins are now accessed from a new location. So you can browse shares or bins, and you can search within an individual share or all shares or across a selection of shares. One consistent thing I notice when commissioning new Evo systems is that share browser bins are a feature that everyone gets excited about. Bins are a really elegant way to group and organize files without moving or copying them. They're super easy to create and manage, and they're lightweight and flexible, and they're just one of those tools that everyone seems to find used for. Another benefit of our Share Browser rewrite is that you can now use bins with Nomad. Now, Nomad, as Melanie mentioned, is the remote editing utility included with Evo. If you know you're going to be working remotely, you can put all the files you need into a bin. Then, from your workstation at home, you can use Nomad to retrieve proxies for all the media files in the bin. This will be very important as your team continues to work from home or as you transition to a hybrid on-prem and off-site workflow. I'm gonna tell you a bit more about some of the hybrid and work from home enhancements that we have built in, but this ability to use bins with Nomad is a pretty big step for Share Browser users who are working remotely. When we say Share Browser was fully rebuilt, we mean it. Everything down to the preferences got an update. As you can see here, you can still throttle your file operations, which allows you to reserve network resources during large file copies. And you can still reveal your media in Mac OS Finder or Windows Explorer with the click of a button. 
you can still tag your media with relevant keywords. And now it's easier to add custom metadata like the DP or the client's name to make it easier to find that perfect clip in record time. And it's also easier to bulk tag entire folders so that all the files within a folder are tagged. These and many more of your favorite share browser features remain intact, and they've all received a major upgrade in look and feel for a better user experience. Next, we'll take a look at some features that received a boost in functionality with the new share browser release. Share browser's latest update is much more than a cosmetic touch up. We've built several new and sophisticated features into the system, all with the goal of improving your media creation workflow. But even with that increased sophistication, we haven't lost sight of the guiding principles in Share Browser, and that is simplicity and ease of use. In the new Share Browser release, we've added a feature to both list and gallery views so that you can easily see which files are online and which files are offline. Offline files will show as transparent in both views, so you can easily see file status before clicking on a particular clip. If a file is offline, you can still mount your shares directly from Share Browser. We've simply made it easier to see the status of those files at a glance. We've also created a new status for archived files. I'll talk more about this when we get to our new integrations, but essentially, whether your media is online, offline, or archived, you can easily identify the file's status as you're browsing your content. Next, you have the added ability to hide volumes in the new Share Browser. And you might ask, why would you want to hide volumes? Well, Share Browser is aware of file systems connected to your computer, as well as the file systems connected to other computers in your production environment. But you don't always want to see all of those extra volumes. So you can hide volumes that you don't want cluttering up your Share Browser experience and they won't show up in search results as you're working in the media asset management system. Of course, you can change your mind and view those extra volumes anytime you need to. As I mentioned earlier, the Share Browser web app doesn't require any software installation. Simply point your web browser to your Evo and log in to Share Browser. Before this new release, users of Share Browser web app could see their bins and search through media. And of course, they could preview, tag, and comment as well. Now, with the latest release, you can do even more. Share Browser web app users can browse the entire directory structure, navigate files and folders, and search by volume. You can even create and download preview proxies from the Share Browser web app. Using the Slingshot Automations Engine, which is included free with Evo, your Evo can be configured to automatically transcode media into preview proxies after you upload your footage. These preview proxies are the small thumbnail videos you see when you uh, view your media in Share Browser. With the new Create Preview and Download Preview options in Share Browser Web App, you can tell the system to create a preview where there isn't one already, and the system will start transcoding it right then and there. You can also download these preview proxies directly to your workstation from within the web app. Given the last year that we've all had, I'm sure you can understand why this is important. Fast and easy access to proxy files is an important catalyst for offline editing and remote workflow. These proxies can play a major role in keeping your projects moving forward when you need to reference your media offline or edit remotely. Again, you can do all this in the Share Browser web app without downloading or installing any software. Now that we've talked about how the new Share Browser looks and the new features and functionality in the new release, it's time to get into our partner integrations. Evo is built for creative media production, and there are many hardware and software components that make up a truly efficient and fluid workflow. And we have integrations with Ross Video, DaVinci Resolve, Amazon, NewTek, Adobe, Final Cut, Cloud Storage, and many other products and services in your production environment. I'll walk you through a couple of them here, but just know that we've got a lot more than what I'm about to show you and even more in the works 
to optimize your team's creative workflow. Some of these you may have heard about in the past as we've announced these integration plans before, and now we're delivering on our promise and releasing these new integrations for your workflow. In Adobe Premiere Pro, users can now open a Premiere project directly from the Share Browser panel, and you can open a clip directly in the Premiere source window from the Share Browser panel as well. In addition to our Share Browser panels for Premiere Pro and After Effects, we also have an integrated Share Browser extension in Final Cut Pro. And of course, Share Browser works side by side with all the major production applications like Media Composer, Pro Tools, Blender, Nuke, DaVinci Resolve, and so on. And on the topic of DaVinci, we're also very excited to announce a workflow integration plugin for Resolve coming very soon in a matter of weeks. Make sure to follow us on social media so you can hear that big news as soon as we release it. And while we're discussing integrations and compatibility, I want to point out that Share Browser is fully compatible with Big Sur and supports the new Apple Silicon based machines. If your team relies on Cloud Archive, and you're using Evo's built-in slingshot replication features, then your files will remain searchable in Share Browser. You can see what's been sent to the cloud, search and preview your files to find exactly the assets you need. This works with S3 as well as other cloud storage platforms. Storage DNA is a popular tape archive solution for media production teams that have a rich archive of footage to maintain. We see it in a lot of universities as well as in sports and other institutions that have valuable archive footage that they need reliable access to. In Share Browser's new integration with Storage DNA, you can now identify right there in Share Browser which files have been archived. You can search, preview, and even directly archive and restore your media from within the Share Browser interface. So if you're recalling a player or coach's career, or producing a retrospective spanning decades of historical content, you no longer need to restore an entire project just to get one or two clips. You can easily search through your entire library of footage, including your archive, preview clips, and restore archived media all without leaving Share Browser. It's our API that makes these integrations possible. The API is a way to integrate Share Browser with other tools and systems. And here are a few specific updates to our API. All of your custom fields are now connected more fluidly within the API. So you now have the ability to parse, insert, and search your custom metadata via the API. This makes it much easier to switch to Share Browser if you've been using another media asset management system. We've also added protected and invisible fields for Share Browser, and they're accessible in the API. That allows third party integrations to create and edit protected fields that users can't directly modify, or invisible fields that users can't see at all. Protected and invisible fields help maintain system to system links while minimizing the potential for user error or interference. So you can develop more sophisticated integrations and have confidence that your files and metadata will always get to where they need to go. And finally, you can work with Share Browser bins in the API. Bins are one of the top features that users cite when talking about the Share Browser features they love, and we've taken that love of Share Browser bins to the next level by integrating it more closely with our API, allowing API developers to tie directly to share browser bins. So that sums up our new share browser. And if you like the look, features, and integrations we've built into the system, you're going to love what's coming next with our new release of Slingshot. Share browser, Slingshot, and Nomad together make up the Evo suite of software tools included with every new Evo. All of our hardware and software products are developed in-house by SNS engineers. They're purpose-built for media production workflow 
been thoroughly tested in our real world production environment and qualification lab right here in St. Louis, Missouri. And they're all included free in a limited fashion with Evo shared storage solutions. We launched Nomad just over a year ago to help users transition to remote workflow when they needed it most. And as you can probably tell, we've dedicated significant time and energy over the past year to developing this new share browser MAM experience. But that's not all that we've been up to. We're committed to optimizing our users' workflow. Maximizing the functionality of our automation system and API has been a priority for us as well. We're currently working on the next iterations of our Slingshot automations engine and API, and I'd like to share a couple of sneak peeks at what's to come with the next release of Slingshot. First, and this is important to note, access to our API is included free with Evo. This API lets you integrate with third-party software and systems, like the LTO archive integration I mentioned earlier, and cloud storage services for automated file backups, or a variety of other systems in your environment that may need to connect to your media server. With Slingshot, you can create simple automation tasks, like deleting scratch renders after a certain amount of time, or backing up new files to Dropbox every night, or automatically transcoding your media. Slingshot opens up a wide range of opportunities for automatic file transfers, media backups, sync, replication jobs, and more. And all this is done via the server itself without involving your workstations or the time and attention of your creative team. And we've been working to make Slingshot even more useful. Here's a preview of the development we're working on. As I mentioned, Slingshot can automatically transcode your media and create preview proxies in Share Browser. And it's those preview proxies which you can download through Nomad or in the Share Browser web app. With the upcoming Slingshot update, we'll be introducing an improved proxy format specifically for offline editing. So instead of using just the Share Browser optimized preview file format, Slingshot can also provide you with edit-ready proxy files. That's right, you can have automatically generated proxy files optimized for offline editorial for your entire media set. Now, at this point, we aren't allowed to share exactly what codec these edit proxies will be in, as we're wrapping up the certification process with the codec manufacturer now. But I'm sure you're gonna like the answer once we're cleared to publicly release the details. This is a major dev project and it is well underway. Evo users will soon be able to download edit ready proxies instead of or in addition to the share browser preview proxies that you have access to now. And that means more and better choices for your production team doing remote work, offline editing, and mezzanine workflows. You can also use Slingshot to back up, sync, and transfer files to cloud storage. That isn't new as you've been able to link up to your Amazon S3, Microsoft Azure, and Dropbox accounts for some time now. What's coming up is that we're adding more cloud storage service integrations to Slingshot, like Wasabi, Backblaze, and Google Cloud Platform, just to name a few. If you're using a different cloud provider or considering switching to a new cloud service, we may just have an integration coming out for you soon. There's a lot more to come with, Sharebra with a Slingshot API and Automation Engine. Follow SNS on social media and keep an eye out for future webinar invites via email to get the latest info on Slingshot when it's available. I hope you enjoyed this presentation about the all new Share Browser experience. Remember that the Share Browser Media Asset Manager Slingshot API and Automations Engine, as well as Nomad Remote Editing Utility are all included free for unlimited users with your Evo shared storage media server. To get a demo, request a quote, or find a local reseller near you, go to snsevo.com and contact us today, or let us know in the comments if you would like us to follow up with a personalized Share Browser MAM demonstration for you and your team. Thanks again for watching our webinar on the new Share Browser. 
I'll pass things back to Melanie. Thank you, Steve. And thank you all for tuning in to learn about the new Share Browser Media Asset Manager. Again, you can find more information or request a demo on our website. That's snsevo.com. Or let us know in the comments if you'd like to speak with us directly about upgrading to Evo and the new Share Browser experience.